There's a feature in Microsoft Word that lets you automate text or actions that you do frequently. They're called macros and they can be intimidating, but they don't have to be. I'm Jill Duffy for PCMag.com, and this is Get Organized, a weekly series of videos and articles about organization and technology. And today I'm going to show you how to use macros. The location of the macro button differs on Mac and Windows. In Mac, it's here under Tools, and in Windows, it's under View. Now the first thing we're going to do is give our macro a name. There are some rules about how you can name your macro. I'll talk about that in a moment. You can assign a button or keyboard shortcut if you want to, and you can also fill in the description, but all of those things are optional. Now this macro is going to be a placeholder text that I have to type frequently with title, deck of an article, and my byline. Now you may remember when we started, I hit record new macro. So everything I'm about to type is going to be recorded. So here I go, I'm just going to type title in bold, I'm going to type deck TK, which means to come in italics, and then my name, because that's what appears at the top of every article. Now when I'm done, I just go back to that macro button and hit stop recording. Now it's kind of silly that you don't get any confirmation that this worked, so the way I'm going to do it is just erase what I've written and actually try and see if my macro worked. So I'm going to choose macro so I can see all of them, pick the one I want, and boom, there's my text. Now I mentioned before that there are some pretty strict rules regarding what you can and can't name macros. So I'm just going to show you what happens when you put in a bad name. You can only use letters and numbers. You can't use hyphens or commas or any other special characters. So I'm going to show you here, I'm going to put in some bad characters, and when I hit OK, it's just going to reject the whole thing. It's not a huge deal to have to start all over again, but I actually think it's pretty bad design that Microsoft Word has this problem. For PCMag.com, I'm Jill Duffy, helping you stay organized. Email me at jill underscore duffy at PCMag.com.